Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Uh, today we'll be talking about getting a free VPN or unlimited free VPN by mining. And uh, you can do this with the service Windscribe. They are really cool, I've tried them on uh, several games as well and I'm currently using it as well. And um, you pretty much get full speed or most of the time you get full speed of what your bandwidth is. Um, or at least like 10 megabytes per second is from what I know. And uh, there's low latency. Usually you can see what latency types there are. I can quickly show you the software if you want to look at it. It says how many gigabytes is left. It's in German because my PC is in German because I'm Swiss. And I'm connected to a Swiss VPN and you can uh, make it show uh, all the VPNs that um, which MS they have and as you can see out of the box you get at least like 20 countries or 20 uh, locations you can select from and I think that's a uh, pretty cool uh, cool there's quite cool options here uh, such as Canada France Germany Hong Kong Netherlands Norway Switzerland the US and the UK and uh, I've favorited all of them so they are at the top for me and yeah, I've sorted them by um, delays, so how much uh, MS delay there is between them uh, to me. So yeah, uh, let's get right to it. Uh, oh no, I didn't want to close it, I'm just going to minimize it. Uh, the Windscribe Miner, uh, you use uh, Chrome to do that. And I'll show you, I'll open the website they have. And um, as you can see, it says warning, no user ID supplied. By the way, this thing here, this whole stuff will be white for you. Uh, I've just turned it black with a CSS uh, tool um, or dark so that I don't, um, so I don't really have to uh, look at it when it's dark in this like really bright black background. It's not that great for my eyes. Um, so yeah, I'm quickly going to log in and you click log in, you create an account if you don't have one so far. Um, I will be giving out uh, an affiliate code if you uh, want to uh, participate as well and help me out with the channel. The pricing is also pretty good. As you can see, your yearly plan you can get for around already four uh, US dollars per month. Uh, and this is bugged out because of the black uh, or the dark darkened stuff. So yeah, uh, I just usually click on uh, features and you can scroll down and at the bottom of the site, you can see mine for upgrades. You can click on that and I'll explain how this works. So uh, when you have this page open, your computer will use its spare CPU cycles to solve maths puzzles, uh, hashes in order to mine Monero. As a result, you may see that your CPU usage is higher than normal, but you can control this with a slider below. This does not compromise your privacy. We're utilizing a service provided by CoinHive. You can read their privacy policy here. Um, this might opening this page might trigger uh, an antivirus because uh, antiviruses are um, they try to protect you against websites that mine in the background, and um, they can't differentiate between websites that you go on to mine and between websites that just want to mine off of your PC as long as you're on their website. So. Um, as you can see, there's live stats and you can see how many hashes you have, your ID. Uh, that's important if you want to share the link. Uh, there's a your mining URL, so you can use that on any other computer and you can copy it and uh, open it on another computer or send it to a friend and he can help you mine. This will uh, automatically go to your account, all the hashes uh, go to your account then. So you can look at the hash rate, there's just a basic graph here so um, you can see uh, what's happening. And um, the reason why you want to mine and uh, what the point of this whole thing is, uh, is you want to actually get a balance of 10 million. And uh, this will actually depend on your CPU, uh, how much you can um, mine. Uh, what I've found is that usually the more cores you have, the better you are at mining. And uh, I'm currently running on a uh, Ryzen Threadripper 1950X with 16 cores. So um, it's no problem for me to, you know, mine. Because um, it usually gives me quite high values. But right now, because I'm recording, uh, it will usually give me 120 hashes or 130 hashes per second. 
Um, but now because I'm recording, obviously it's a bit um, it's a bit stressed out, so I won't be putting stuff on it. Um, I won't be putting pressure on it. So yeah, uh, let's look at the reward rewards you can get. Um, there's reset bandwidth that starts at one million hashes as a cost. Um, I could already get that, but uh, I'm not really interested in it right now. Um, there's plus 10 gigabytes per month, which uh, I found out, and that's this is what you want to get, because um, this is permanent. You will keep this forever, these plus 10 gigabytes per month. And um, that's actually how I've got um, more gigabytes now, as you can see it's uh, left with 60 gigabytes. And what I found out is that if you use these plus 10 gigabytes per month uh, reward, uh, you will actually get your uh, current usage even reset. So that means uh, I usually, I think I have 60 or 70 gigabytes, no I have 70 gigabytes um, right now per month. Um, and uh, if I get this, I will get 80 completely and it will be restored completely to 80. So the current usage that I already have will be gone from this, which is I think a pretty cool thing um, considering it. And the point is, of this, is that you, if you want to get uh, get this unlimited, uh, you know, permanent thing, um, unlimited. It's unlimited in the sense that uh, you can get like a hundred gigabytes or one hundred and fifty. Uh, I'll probably get like three or four hundred, uh, depending on how much. Uh, you know, it's all, it will take quite a while. For me, it takes around three or four days to get uh, ten million uh, hashes. And that's not running it constantly, obviously. That's just when I'm working uh, for a couple of hours. I can, in like two hours, you make one million uh, with a 16 core CPU. Uh, I don't know how, how it looks like for the other CPUs. Um, and your goal in the end is to get as much as possible from those gigabytes. So in the end, uh, by the time you get to the end of a month, you will still have some gigabytes left and it will reset automatically and you, in theory, practically, you would have unlimited VPN because your limit is uh, so big that it will matter how much you use. It will automatically reset anyway, so you, uh, accident opened that, so you will uh, keep getting uh, unlimited VPN in that sense. And yeah, um, this is kind of what I wanted to show you guys. It's a really cool thing that you can do. Um, it doesn't take too much time. I really recommend uh, trying it out, and um, if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Uh, I think it's a really cool alternative to actually paying them, and it's uh, if you do it for a longer time, and you have the the amount of gigabytes you wanted to have, um, it will be a really cool thing because you'll essentially end up having unlimited uh, unlimited gigabytes of VPN. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, like if you liked the video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and yeah, hope you guys uh, are there for the next one.